Hello and welcome back to Flipping Motors UK. Today join us in Castleford where we're visiting G3 Auctions. I've seen this auction house on quite a few of the channels now and I've wanted to try myself so I've come up and had a little look. Not really in need of any stock but if anything comes up cheap enough, who knows? Let's go and see what's about. Found a nice fairly presentable RAV4. Does need a couple of bits and pieces as you can see but it seems fairly tidy. Short MOT, it's only lasting about a month. Oh, I didn't say that, but <laughs> could probably do something about that, couldn't you? Does cap pretty low? I think cap claim was only about 800 quid, so I might have to watch this one. I think it was 140,000 miles, something like that. So we'll have a little look. Might be a good buy for us. Hey, well, going 800 quid. That's what I wanted to be. It's definitely not clean, but no. Got a slightly rough looking clear way. I think it's a 0 0.9 as well. No, it's a 1.2. Let's add a couple of knocks, let's just say. Yeah. It's, it even says TC in the boot. That must be what thrown us, but yes, it is a 1.2 petrol. Looks a bit worse for wear inside. It's booking art. I think it was about two and a half grand or something. It'd be interesting to see what this one goes for on a 15 plate. It's actually fairly sensible mileage too. White clear at 500 pounds, and I can sell it at 500 pounds, 500 pounds, 500 pounds. Told you it would be cheap. That's a clear all there. It's going, it's going to be like. It's also done 136. Got Dillard on here, okay? 550. Old Audi A4 here, 54 plate, just come off a private reg. Paint's looking very sorry for itself. Lots of lacquer peel around the car. Um, I don't know what you could really do with this one. It's getting a bit too old to be retailing anyway, I think. All that paint there, you can probably see on there. It's a two litre petrol. I believe it is a automatic. It's a nice straight car, but I don't know. It's definitely not retailable. Be interesting to see what that goes for. The report's clean. It's got a copy of the V5, and as you can see here, it's uh, un well, it's it's only done 206,000 miles. It's got to be pennies that half a tyres are flat as well. We have a scenic here on an 11 plate, 1.6 petrol, it's doing 142 on that one. And it's got all the V5 and that. The report, it's in the ABS lights on, so it could be a centre, a hub, something like that. But for its age and I don't think it looks too bad. It cleans up all right, I think. Yeah, there's a couple of marks, but I think that'd be a nice car for someone, 12, 1500 quid. I'll have to see what this one goes for. Saying it's 350. ABS light on, very short MOT. A few advisories on the last one. It won't be for me, not with that mileage. This could be a good one. Passat. Now it says it's a DSG, but it's actually a manual. Wings are a bit rusty, but people seem to like these. If it was one to trade on, it's got the full lever interior. It's an estate, it's a nice colour. It seems like it's been a well looked after car. All the reports are green, but if it goes cheap enough, like the reports suggest, as you can see here, would have to be the lower end of that cap, but we'll have a little look at this one, I think. You can have that with a brass bill charge. It'll be nice. 600 quid, maybe we will charge. Uh, 600 pound, maybe. 600 pound. I think it's going to be that high to start with. A bit rusty around the edges. What are we paying that for it like? This is a nice old bus, probably not something I'd be buying today, but it's a two litre diesel Skoda Superb. It's for Lauren and Clermont, so it's got all the leather seats and cream. Which looks quite nice. It's a DSG, it's got panoramic roof, and it looks fairly tidy. Lovely teal blue colour. Got a bit of rust starting on there, so it does need a bit of paint. I want to see what this thing goes for. It looks a really nice car. It has stood out to me, this one. Probably not something I'm going to be buying today, but again, we'll watch what it goes for. Nice car, that. Gap clean hit. Above. Forty-one. 
100 quid cup clean out 36. Nice carvel. Still done a few miles. 45, 6. Cup retail's 55. We've got to get 4,600 quid. These weren't a bad car, the old Freelanders. This particular one, the tool bar's already caught me out. It's come from the finance company and it's looking a bit worse than wear. Quite a bit of damage on it. It is um, under report, it's in cap below 1650. It's an ED4 engine, so it is a more fuel efficient, slightly better on tax version. We'll see how it runs, but um, like you say, with these finance ones, we're always here for a reason. We'll soon find out. Very cheap. Cuts below at 1650 quid. ED4 Freelander. Is it 1350? 14. 1600, have I seen you on this side? I always like these VW Jetta. It's essentially just a golf with a boot. I'm quite traditional. I do like an old fashioned saloon or estate car. Two litre TDI this one, so it's a better engine. Previously owned by Batman. Looks a fairly straight car. Let's see what the report says. See any engine management lights on it? Might it's not running too well. Be interesting to see how this one gets on. Looking at the car, still capping quite high there. Level. That's got an engine light on, as you can see. Got it at 23, and it is Grade Two as well. Doing all right. On sale, on sale. He's a car I do like, an old TDV8 Range Rover. This particular one is the 4.4. I've actually had one of these with a 3.6 TDV8 and also the TD6. They do cap pretty low, so it's in between 3.5 and, and just under 5. I'll be honest, even with 150k on this thing, will probably still retail at about 10 grand, probably even a little bit more. So it'll be interesting to see what it goes for, but I think it might exceed cap as it looks fairly tidy actually. So there we go, I thought this one was going to go way over cap claim. There's a proxy bid set at three and a half. It's steady away here and all, back up to the 50s. That's where we're at currently. Struggling. It's from first response as well, so that does mean it is here. From the finance company, 44. Cheap, very cheap. These are always a funky car, Citroen DS5. Bit of damage to the front bumper there. Not the tidiest thing, it looks like it's some sort of finance repossession. All the tyres are borderline bald. There is no V5. Right, it's just been hit in a few places. On a report, it's shown up as cap between 1200 quid and two grand cap claim. A lot of car for the money, if you ask me. These are a proper fancy car back in the day. Very comfortable as well. But it uh, be interesting to see what this one goes for. Uh, I think it's a manual as well, though. I think most of these are actually in automatic, but looks all right. Go Cliff wanted one. 1600 There is no V5, mind. Cheap car, mind. That sounds pretty nice. Oh, wow, how cheap is that? 1700 quid I've got for it. Listen to it. But well, we should took the offer. <laughs> there is one thing I would like to say. So, as you know, I've been using BCA for convenience. 
not for massive fees and pretty full customer service. But G3, wow, I am absolutely gobsmacked. There's a buzz in the place, there's a buzz in the auction hall. Everyone seems happy to be there, including the staff, which is a big thing for me, because how often do you... It, the staff smiling all over, having a laugh. I received an email tonight when I got back to say, Lewis, how did you find it? A personalised email as well, might I add. That, for me, is a big thing. Do you think PCA would do that? <laughs> I've never had one off them. Tell, tell me otherwise, but the place was absolutely buzzing. When I do need some more stock, I'll be happy to go there. Again, when I have time, I'm a very busy man. I do still work full time, but I'm absolutely gobsmacked with that. Thank you so much to G3. Uh, I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Today, I was just a little bit, I was out there scouting, really. And I tell you what, the bacon sandwiches were fantastic. <laughs> uh, hope you've enjoyed the auction content. I know some of the footage wasn't the best, but I just wanted to show you a bit about what was going on. I was getting more familiar with G3, they get a bit more used to me being there. Um, as well as obviously the other traders, I know we've seen Lee from Car UK today. It was lovely to have a chat with him, really, really nice fella. Um, I appreciate him taking the time to have a little chat. Tell me a bit about the auction house, and it all sounds pretty good. We didn't come away with anything today. In fact, I didn't even bid on anything, but I've got a feel for it. I'm happy with it. From what Lee said, the fees are really good. Um, yeah. So I'll definitely be up there again for probably for the Thursday sale. That's probably more the type of cars that I deal with. But I'll tell you what, star of the show. So this car came, it's got a, it's just been serviced with Ford parts. I know a few people are a bit wary about the belt. <laughs> Me too, but I don't fully restore cars, I'm afraid. I can't afford to. So it had a new bottom arm, new track red end, and it drives perfect. We drove, me and my dad, we drove it down to G3 today. It covered about 140 miles, I want to say. Perfect. It's passed the test now. I must have done 350 miles in this car without fault. Not a single oil light, not a single scary noise, apart from a fuel light coming on. Really proud of it. So tomorrow we're going to be getting it all cleaned up. Clean the bird muck off it and um, get it all cleaned up, ready for sale. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Like I say, footage I know it wasn't the best, but I hope you got a feel for it as I did. Really enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Take care now. Bye-bye.